Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about a type of plant that's often mistaken for dandelion. And probably mistaken for dandelion because they look a lot like them. And they're closely related. There's two that I'm going to talk about here. Perennial south thistle, Sanchus arvensis, and common or annual south thistle, Sanchus oleracea. They're both introduced from Eurasia. And they've become established pretty much all over North America with similar edible and medicinal uses. And if you look closely, you can see one of them watching us right now. Sow thistles. Perennial sow thistle, scientific name is Sanchus arvensis. The flowering heads are bigger than the annual ones. They're two and a half to five centimeters across, and they're yellow ray flowers, and they are underneath, they have these yellow hairs. And at the upper parts of the stem, they also have these yellow hairs. And they have leaves that are alternate. They go up the stem on one side, then the other, then the other, and they clasp the stem. So the base of the leaves wrap around it. They have prickles along the edges, but no prickles on the mid vein underside. And like other similar plants, they have this milky juice, milky sap. If you cut it or break it, And the uh, leaves, they're pretty lobed at the bottom, but they become less lobed higher up. Earlier on in life, they form a basal rosette. Fairly dandelion looking. And these are the ones, the leaves, when they're younger in a rosette along the ground when they taste a little better. Here is the annual sow thistle, or common sow thistle. Scientific name is Sanchus oleraceus. Looks very much, I think, like a, just a smaller version of the perennial. It has flowering heads, which are much smaller, 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters across. They still have that bulbous sort of section. And the leaves are clasping the stem, especially farther down. They wrap around the stem and they have this, they're lobed lower down, and they have this fairly distinctive triangular, the last lobe, quite triangular shaped. And this one is often one that's, oh, uh, compared to the perennial, the leaves are lighter color and just more like delicate feeling. They feel softer. And this is one that's often mixed up with prickly lettuce. And conveniently, since I have lots of, you know, weeds. Some people would call them weeds in my yard. Uh, there's some prickly lettuce right here, so I can show you maybe a contrast of them side by side. The prickly lettuce flowering heads, they're much more delicate looking. They don't have that bulbous section underneath. Here's what they look like when they're open. If I can get it to focus. And the prickly lettuce, sorry, the sow thistle leaves have prickles along the edge, but they don't have it on the mid vein underneath compared to prickly lettuce, which might have them along the edge. But also do have them on the mid vein underneath. Here's another shot of the common south thistle, annual south thistle flowers. They're closing, so imagine them a little more opened up. And the seeds, when they're ready to move. <laughs> it's 
sow thistles are edible. Uh, if you've waited this long for them to be flowering like this, it's probably too late. They're getting pretty bitter at this point. You could still eat them, but they're kind of past their prime. Uh, the young ones can be eaten raw in a salad, maybe like, because even young, they have can have a bit of a bitter flavor. But mixed in with other ones, it's not so strong. Or they can be cooked, cook once in water, change it out, and then cook them again. And that removes some of the bitterness. And the flowering heads... Those are kind of sweet and they actually kind of stand up for a while while chewing. So it's kind of like a gum. And uh, one thing that they're used for is given to some animals who are, I guess, not eating what they normally would and they'll eat them. And uh, hence the name sow thistle. Apparently, they're quite popular with pigs. Now I'm showing you again here are the perennial sow thistles. If you look for the yellow hair underneath the flowering heads, that's the quickest way to tell them apart from the annual or the common. And they have some medicinal uses, likely the first two related to their milky sap. The first one was that they was thought back in the 13th century recommended to prolong the virility of gentlemen. So that's pretty important. And another was it was thought to help with the milk flow increasing the milk flow for nursing mothers. And some other uses include teas have been made to calm the nerves, treat asthma, bronchitis, and coughs. And also the leaves have been used in poultices to relieve swelling and inflammation. And as far as I can tell, they are more or less interchangeable for their use, the different sow thistles. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.